Hi, I'm Kirk Patrick, Handyman Teacher of HandymanTeacher.com. Today we're going to put in a new garbage disposal. And the way we determined that we needed one was we decided that this one, when we tried to make it work, it would not work. And you can hear the hum a little bit. And we determined by checking the uh, circuit breaker switch on the bottom that that was okay. But then when we tried to turn the blades inside, the blades were frozen. And then on determining by looking inside the sink, we saw that the disposal itself is old and it's rusted shut. There's nothing jammed in there. So what we're going to do now is take the old one out and replace it with a new one. Now the ones they, we, we had to make a decision on how big of a machine to get. And what we got is the Badger one-third horsepower machine rather than getting one that's larger. And the reason for this is there are only two people here at one time and the particular area is only used part of the year. Now if this was a family of four or more we would be getting the half horsepower or even the one horsepower because of the more activity. But with the smaller activity in use here we could go ahead and get the one-third horsepower. We need to first turn off the power to the garbage disposal before we take it out. And we've found the electric panel for the unit right here. Now some of these panels, like this one, are very old um, and it really doesn't describe too well which of these um, switches is the right one to turn off. So what we're going to do is selectively turn off and try the thing. So we'll turn off number two first and that just turned lights off, so I don't think that was the right one. We'll turn that back on. Actually, turned the kitchen fridge off. Oh, did it? Okay. Is the light still off in the kitchen? Okay. All right. Okay. Well, what we'll do now is walk out there and check and see if the disposal's off. Now, even though our light is off here in the kitchen, the garbage disposal is still running, so we haven't turned the right switch off. Okay, item three says kitchen plug, so we'll try that. And item four also says plug, so we'll try three and four off and see if that works. Now, we've come into some success turning those off because when I turn this on, we don't hear the hum, and I'll check with my... Uh, electrical checker as we go, but I think we've, we've solved the problem here. Well, this big black thing, of course, is our uh, disposal, and it has this white pipe coming out of it, and it goes over here to the trap for the drain. This is the main drain trap, which would come down from this side of the sink. And of course, the garbage disposal is in on the left side of the sink. So what we have to do now is take the drain pipes off. We always want to have a little pan underneath there because the trap here holds water. And that, by holding water in it, is what keeps uh, you from having sewer water or sewer gas smell in the house. Because the water sitting in the trap stops the gas from coming up into the room. So I'm undoing these two um, valves right now and the trap falls off and the water goes into here. The next step will be loosening the pipe that goes to the garbage disposal and into the main drain. And that's just two more of these. And we'll 
probably get a little water out of that. No, we didn't. Okay. So right now we basically isolated this as a separate unit. <clears throat> Something that you won't be able to see, but you see the, the wire connector right here. This is the electricity that we had to turn off. And then what I want to do is there's a plate underneath here, and I'll show you when I put the other one in, that the electricity, electricity from the wall goes into the plate. The next thing after we're taking the electricity off is we'll unloosen it from its connector up here and drop it down. But for now I'm going to have to crawl under there and get the electric off. <laughs> 